One, two, three, four, five, six. 100 push ups, 100 pull ups every single day for the next 30 days. I challenge you guys to follow along. Obviously, a lot of us are limited, and if you guys want me to document that to show you my progress over the month, please leave this video a like. And even if you don't wanna see it, leave a like on the video. You got nothing else to do. We're all in quarantine. We're all in this together. Little Alfie is as crazy as he ever is. That was my 100th rep of the day. And now we're gonna get on to some push-ups. I've actually been doing a few hundred push-ups a day because we got a contest going with a group of my friends and if you don't win, you gotta pay money. And you guys know, I don't like to lose, especially when I lose money. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about how my diet has changed because of the coronavirus and being quarantined in the house. My activity level is much different. My training has had to change a lot. So I had to make some adjustments on that front, which we'll get into tomorrow. guys so it is about 8 a.m. we've got a little over 3,000 steps about 30 ounces of water and I'm driving Megan crazy by measuring everything but what gets measured gets managed that ends up being about 30 pull-ups for the day uh, 30 pull-ups 30 push-ups but it's been a good morning so far little Alfie you having a good quarantine routine yeah he loves it man because I'm always home he gets to hang out but during these times, you have to make an even bigger effort to stay active, and there's no excuse not to, especially if you have a lot more time on your hands. And also, we have been doing at least 20 to 30 minutes of yoga each morning, but today, we decided to go with some meditation, something that I don't really see the value in, and it kind of drives me crazy, but cameraman wanted to do it, so I obliged. How you doing, buddy? You got a cookie? Look at that, is this a fat and weird? Oh, he said, don't take my cookie, Dad. So what I do here is clusters of 10. So I do 10 sets of 10 on pull-ups and I just mark them off as I go and I've upped it to 20 push-ups. Every time I do 10 pull-ups, water, I just mark it off one big shaker cup at a time. I use the P-Science 32 ounce. So it ends up being a little over a gallon as long as I get four and this has worked out pretty well for me. guys our favorite breakfast on Saturday and really it's gonna be I guess technically lunch or brunch it's 1130 a.m. and that's one of the tips I have for you guys is to fast as long as you can because when you're at home all the time all you're gonna want to do is eat trust me I learned the hard way from week one so the way that my diet has really changed is one Alfie eats a lot of my food so now I can't eat as much but also the first week of quarantine was kind of bad because we went up, you know, we stocked up on some food and I was just like, you know what, what's the point? And I kind of just went YOLO and I felt pretty terrible. But moving into what we're gonna do for the foreseeable future is we're gonna scale the calories back a little bit. The reason for that is because I'm not able to get into a as I was trying to say, I'm not, I'm not able to get into the gym and break up as much muscle tissue as I would like. So I was in a very aggressive bulk, which at this point would just turn into a whole lot of unnecessary fat that I would have to take out, take off later. So I'm still going to be in a slight caloric surplus, 25 to 2,700 calories, depending on the day, but enough talking. We'll get into more later for now. I'm just going to enjoy this wonderful breakfast Vans, gluten-free blueberry waffle. It's the best waffle on the planet that you can buy frozen at the grocery store. Incredible macros on there as well. Still using Avatar Nutrition to help me track all this, stay on point. Again, trying to measure as much as possible right now. Down for the long run now. Red Corvette and my drop top down. Calling up my so thankfully it has started to get extremely nice outside. And if it hasn't where you live, I would highly suggest that you pick up and move to the south. You'll be much happier. I can guarantee you that. But we're just going for a nice little walk. How's everything going for you, cameraman? Good. The people miss you? <laughs> so you get to spend more quality time with me. Do you love it? I do. I am driving her absolutely crazy, guys. She cannot wait for me <laughs> to go back to work, even though I am technically still working. I'm just working from home, which is a big adjustment, obviously, working in sales. But we're figuring it out as we go along. So we're just going to take a little walk and try to get some more steps in. And this is going to be like the pre-workout, not the pre-workout, the warm-up for our real workout, which we'll run you guys through in the apartment. 
All right, so we made our 10,000 step goal. We got a nice little warm up. In addition to the 10 or the 100 pull ups and however many 100 push ups I'm doing each day, that's just on top of my regular workout. So if you guys watch episode one, we were out on the park area and they have uh, since closed that off. So all workouts now are gonna be in the apartment. So make sure you guys get some resistance bands, follow along, gonna hit some shoulders and then do all upper body because nobody cares about legs, let's be honest. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you take care of your rear delts with all of these push-ups and all of these pull-ups. So it's a perfect time to do things like face bowls that you probably take for granted when you're in the gym. It's not something we all look forward to, but now with you don't need a lot of resistance. So it's the perfect time to work on those. So as you guys can see, working out from home poses some interesting challenges, but how do you say no to this? I take the heaviest resistance band that I have, I'm gonna wrap it around my back, we're gonna go down like this. We're gonna try to do some flies if Alfie lets me. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, you guys get the picture here. <laughs> if you have a cute puppy, though, you know, what, what do you do? <laughs> let me know in the comments down below if you can relate. Might not be getting the best workouts in, but at least we're getting some quality family time. Calling up my dicks in my Motorola and I'm speeding like I robbed someone. Falling and I'm a whip. Yeah. Out in Fairfax, going hard in all right guys with coffee shops being closed we are all forced to make our coffee at home can't just go buy Starbucks like we used to so here is one of my favorite combinations ever I try to replicate the Starbucks nitro cold brew as best as I can so what I'll do is I'll take the Califia cold brew this is um, blonde roast that's the important part you should all be buying this unless you live in Raleigh because everyone buys it and I can never find it at the store but that's besides the point we're gonna mix in some almond milk or some cashew milk milk no ice that's another key and if you want to sweeten it up these skinny syrups are amazing zero calories so you can have this it's not as good as the one with Starbucks but it's a lot cheaper and it's a lot more macro friendly as well it tastes delicious you mix that with a pea science protein bar and having the white chocolate raspberry this is my second favorite flavor unfortunately you guys enjoy them too much and you bought them out of the fudge brownie I still have four boxes stockpiled but I'm trying to save them because I don't know when they're gonna come back in stock so get you a protein bar get you a cold brew your life will be good it's my favorite snack of all time we are getting ready to sit down and shoot a couple's q a are you excited i am cameraman is so excited she doesn't really let me get her on camera too much so when the day comes i get super pumped it's gonna be good it's gonna be good it'll be up next wednesday for y'all why 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 how do you get by 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 so with everything that I'm doing to try to stay active and stay busy, it has a lot less to do with training my body and a lot more to do with training my mind. Because what I'm afraid is going to happen with a lot of different people is they're going to create a lot of bad habits. And then when things go back to normal, they're going to be trying to dig themselves out of a hole. And personally, what I'm trying to do is actually get some development out of this. I'm trying to start from a better point than I was at even before the whole Corona crisis. And I think it's very doable out of every terrible situation that's ever happened in my life I've always been able to make something good come out of it and I intend to do the same with this situation it's so rewarding once you finish up with your 100 pull-ups for the day I am so bored of pull-ups and push-ups but I feel like those are the best two at-home workout options that you have available to you. But as far as the food goes, we are making some dinner right now. Megan is making me one of my favorite things, which is a veggie bowl. She has been making some amazing meals in the last few weeks, or really, ever since we moved in together, so I definitely appreciate that. Now, my diet has definitely gotten less flexible, and I think for me, it's just been because Health is at the forefront of my mind, and obviously, eating fruits and vegetables is all. Eating fruits and vegetables is always a good thing, and it's not like loading up on vegetables is going to prevent you from getting any kind of virus. But I think, just in general, it's probably a good time to reassess what I'm putting in my body. So these foods make me feel great, make me perform even better. And honestly, the way Megan makes them, they taste phenomenal. And you guys know we're always on a mission to make vegetables cool again. So let me show you how Megan is able to make vegetables delicious. She even said that she didn't used to like vegetables That's until she started this method. You created this, huh? No, I didn't create it. She created it. <laughs> Travis requires me to use spray oil, otherwise I would use normal 
avocado oil, but it's fine. It ends up tasting the same. Um, we use Himalayan pink salt, garlic powder on basically everything, pepper, and usually that's it. I mean, sometimes I can use a little bit of other things, but that's it. Mr. Alf, you can't have that. That's mine, man, you already had your dinner. So we have the blackened chicken with chipotle chili seasoning. We have these rosemary potatoes with the onions and, and Brussels sprouts. Asparagus with the seasonings that Megan told you guys about last clip. This is one of my favorite dinners of all time. Amazing macronutrient breakdown, and it is so, so delicious. You guys can whip this stuff up very easily, or you can get yourself a cameraman. I mean, that to me is a lot easier, but you know. And in normal fashion, going to end the day with a little spread here. So I've got my poverty brownie. With this, I use two scoops of the chocolate cupcake pea science protein. I've got 120 grams of oatmeal. Ooh, oh, it's hot. And then I have one scoop of the cake pop protein in there. So get my protein in for the day. And then over here on this guy, I've got way too many utensils. I've got a banana as well as one serving of peanut butter. So this ends up being a little bit less than half of my calories, or like 1,100, but I'll go to bed full. And honestly, it's just easier for me this way. And that is going to be it, right around 2,500 calories for the day. As I mentioned, I'm scaling that back. I was closer to 3,000, but without being able to train effectively, that is not going to be necessary at all. Even when I was able to train like I would like, that was probably still a little bit of overkill, but I was able to get away with a, with more knowing that my main goal was putting on muscle. Now, I'm not going to really be able to put on much muscle. I'm hoping to be able to maintain. And even if I lost a little bit, I would be okay with that, especially if it meant I got to go out and enjoy some outdoors. That would be fun. But as I mentioned in last week's video, I know things are a little bit challenging right now, but I think sometimes people get mixed up with life being bad and life being hard. Now, for some people, life is bad. People are sick. People are dying, and that's that's catastrophic. I mean, this, this thing is super serious. So for anyone that's going through that or anyone that knows someone, then you can probably relate to it a lot more than I can. But for us that are just quarantined in our house with heat and air conditioning and food, yeah, it, it's not so much fun not being able to go out. But at the same time, we have a lot of opportunity right now to, to do a lot of good for ourselves and others. So I hope that everyone is capitalizing on that. And at the end of the day, I hope everyone is thinking with some common sense, staying in the house, not going out, not inviting your friends over. You are meant to be in your home with the people you live with, and that's it. I see way too much going on of people just not taking it seriously enough, in my opinion. But anyway, we don't need to end on a negative note. I really hope you guys come to these videos and get some enjoyment out of it because I know that there's not a whole lot going on right now, so I hope my videos can give you 15 to 20 minutes of just escapism if nothing else hopefully some entertainment as well but thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch you could have been doing anything not really but we're gonna say it anyway anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me that is pretty awesome please give the video a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and i look forward to talking to y'all next time